Ok guys, welcome back. Now version update 2.5 is just around the corner and in order to explore the new map and in order to get close to the volcanic area you will have to have the nano protective film or nano protective coating. And well, today I will be showing you how to obtain that. It is a very important item or should I say a very important uh, module. It will allow you to get close to the inner volcanic area without taking any damage. So, uh, since it can be a little bit confusing and tricky to get the item, I will show you a detailed guide on how to do it. Now, uh, you have to go to call the merchant, uh, call the mechanic, and well, uh, the whole map here is kind of built like a maze. So, uh, make sure that you follow my character precisely in order to uh, get there, but when you learn the map, it's really not a big problem. So basically, you have to go over here. It is well hidden. Uh, I have to say, the this underwater city or underwater base is definitely uh, very well detailed. Uh, I love it, but this whole place is sometimes like a maze and it's easy to get lost, but... The merchant or the mechanic is uh, basically just around the corner. He is over here. And well, let's uh, let's talk to them. It's beautiful under the sea, okay. Such as inside. So basically you have this uh, little story dialogue. This is classified as a side mission by the way. A side mission that is going to have a big effect on the overall uh, gameplay experience and it will give you a very important and necessary item. So you will have to go through this side quest. Okay, well, uh, Aki will basically tell you to go and gather some materials that you will need in order to build the protective film. Now, gathering the materials isn't uh, a big problem. However, there is a puzzle uh, where you have to basically uh, complete the puzzle in order to get one of the necessary materials. And I'll show you how the puzzle works. It is the jellyfish puzzle in the jellyfish cave. This is one of the caves that I was talking about being very creepy uh, and very uh, very very scary but it has a very surprising result in the end so the cave is over here and the side mission will tell you what you have to collect so the first big part of the side mission is to uh, get all of the materials that can be dropped by the jellyfish puzzle. You get a red nucleus from completing the puzzle and you also have a achievement that you can unlock by completing it and well you have to go over here. This is basically this cave where you have these weird structures. At first I wasn't really sure what they were for but uh, yeah, uh, they are used for the side quest and they are hiding a very nice secret. So first you go and activate the first jellyfish and it will go basically uh, inside of one of these caves and it will stand there. Now this jellyfish will be stationary. Uh, the other three jellyfishes will be rotating and you have to follow my character in the in this exact path. You activate the first one, you wait for them to enter the cave, then leave the cave. After a couple seconds, you click on the second one, and then you go to the third jellyfish. After you reach the third jellyfish, you wait for the first one to leave the second cave. And when that happens, you click on the third one, and and then uh, the puzzle should be solved. You have to light these things up all at once, and then 
and then the magic happens. Turns out this cave is not as scary as I thought that it'd be. It's actually a beautiful place. This game has some very, uh, very nice and very nice puzzles and some very beautiful hidden areas. And well, you get a red nucleus and you get the necessary materials that you have to obtain in order to build the protective coating. Well then, uh, that is big part, that is one big part of the mission complete. And again, you can enjoy the scenery, this cave is truly beautiful, uh, I love it, and uh, there is a lot of jellyfish. Reminds me, reminds me on the, on one of the older movies that I watched, the cast of the sky if you if you know that one it's a pretty old one but uh, a masterpiece there is this part where they are in a cave and uh, that crystal basically lights up the whole cave showing the showing all the different well technically stars but uh, they were in a cave so this this that's what uh, this cave reminds me of now now you have to obtain 20 high spec sensors from sea surveillance guards. Now this requires you to go around and look for the surveillance guards and they are basically scattered all over the map and that can be quite time consuming. Now one way to obtain the high spec sensors is by completing the deep sea exploration missions and in order to do that you have to basically uh, collect some materials and you have to deliver the materials to the to the terminal page and you should complete about three or four of those and you will have 20 of the high spec sensors and I decided to go uh, do that because it's much faster uh, to get the materials and just upgrade and just you know deliver the materials in order to uh, get the reward than to run around the whole map and look for the high spec sensors because you know they can be uh, quite well hidden and it does require you to to spend some time looking for them so I guess this way uh, with uh, the active search for the mat for the materials is actually much faster. So I have to collect some uh, small fish and I have to collect the neon samples from the from, from the neon fish. Fun fact: uh, while recording this, I was in the voice chat with one of my friends and. And it was hilarious uh, to to hear me s talking about neon fish. My friend was so confused; he had no idea what what I was talking about. <laughs> it was just pure gold, uh, but it was a very, very good, uh, <laughs> very good voice chat. We had a lot of fun. So uh, I'm still looking for the small fish, and well. I usually would say and I would recommend that you go in the shallow ocean, in the shallow waters. That's where the small fish is mostly located at and in some of the other missions you will be required to go and uh, look for items, look for materials and ingredients that will be located in the fish that are swimming in the shallow areas of the game. I like how this whole game has an ecosystem that works and uh, it does follow a very interesting pattern. They did a fantastic job with that. Okay, new material and small fish meat. Okay, well, uh, now I have to go hunt neon fish. Now, neon fish can be located in the regions of the game where there is not much light so you should be looking for them in caves you should be looking for them in the deeper parts of the of inners although they are not located in the other deeper very deep areas they are located in the 
in the map around the main area, around the city, around the base, and in a cave system that is also around the around the map can technically be found in the more in the more darker regions in the shallow waters of course uh, it has to be it has to have a absence of light for them to be uh, to be around so we have to keep that in mind and I would say the neon fish is quite interesting. Uh, I say quite interesting because uh, I'm looking at the design of the of the fish. It is transparent, and they took inspiration from the deep sea creatures that we actually have in uh, in real life. If you go very deep in the water, you will have some uh, very alien-looking animals living down there, and I find that I, I find them quite fascinating because. Uh, it's a whole different world down there, and I love how... I mean, I have to say, the the water part of the game, the, the new map, Inners, is fantastic. One of the best looking maps, and honestly, even on a phone that I'm playing on, the game just looks beautiful. Uh, on PC, it, it looks much better, but even on the phone, it looks very nice. And for some reason... Uh, I have ray tracing enabled by default, although my phone should not support that, but you know, it, it works, so I just keep it on, uh, because why not? So, first, you can go and collect the easier to collect materials, and then you can go look for the neon fish, because the neon fish is a bit more, I would say, difficult to find. It's a rare, mo more rare, I guess, uh, more rare fish, but it is uh, not that not that difficult and well uh, after playing with that for a while i have finally collected all the materials and now let's go to the base let's go to the city or well base or city i'm not really sure how to classify that let's just call it a base and let's uh get that protective film now there's a trick to uh to the whole thing you will go uh, to Aki, and Aki will create the protective film, but if my memory serves me well, the protective coating will, well, the, by the sto going along the story, it will say that the coating is not working, and then they will require you to go and fight Skilia, which is one of the world bosses. And that World boss is located in one of the uh, islands, but by the time uh, I, I think most of you already fought Skilia, so it is not a big issue. If you already fought Skilia, then you already have the material that you need, so it's not going to be a problem. You just continue with the dialogue and. I will show you that in a moment. Let me just run towards towards Aki over here and let's enter the dialogue. So now the now they will create the coating. And looks like the coating is not working. Again, that's how the story goes. Don't be alarmed, it's not a big problem. That's just part of the story. So, now the now Aki requires me to go and get some extra materials, and again, those extra materials are items that drop from Skilia. And since I fought that boss a million times by now, I already have all the materials, so if you already do that, you just talk to the boss, uh, you just talk to the character, and now the protective film will be created and will be automatically equipped to your character. So every time you go in the volcanic area or in version 2.5 when uh, the new map is released, you should be pretty good, you should be safe. If there is any new upgrades, I will definitely 
uh, do the upgrade and I will post it I will post a video about that as as well but but now uh, I should be safe in the volcanic area I should not be taking any damage and I should not be roasted alive so let's test out this film and let's see if it works now the film doesn't really uh, have any slot uh, it's just there it's automatically activated so you don't have to uh, think about it. and well when you are in the volcanic area this is basically what happens to your character now you have the protection and now you are free to explore the volcanic area you are free to uh, go in the new 2.5 area 2.5 map although I believe for the new map I will have to do some more upgrades and I think uh, it will be some just some extra materials and extra story and things like that so uh, with that being said well uh, it works the film works and if there is anything uh, new that's going to be added I will definitely uh, do another guide I, I know that I, I had I struggled with this a while until I figured out how it works and well uh, it's actually not that difficult not that hard and overall uh, it's a def it's definitely a very interesting mechanic and it makes me curious about the a new map but the volcanic area is now completely explorable and this is one of these well, this is one of these things that you have to uh, look for if you go the longer route in order to complete the, the mission but with that being said I hope that you guys enjoyed hope that I could help you at uh, getting the protective film I know it can be quite confusing to get this but hopefully I could help you and well with that being said hope that you guys enjoyed stay safe uh, if you would like to if you would like to support me feel free to like and subscribe and with that being said stay safe and I'll see you next time.